Welcome to a classic game room unboxing of a box that looks like this. Here in the Intergalactic Space Arcade, I believe there's a book inside this box. Which is like, oh, 40 pounds. This is, this is very heavy. I think this may contain all of the missing matter in the universe. Uh, or a book, one or the other. Anyway, let's open it up here and uh, see what, what kind of goodness this box may contain. This one was actually surprisingly easy to open, so are you ready? Hang on to your seats. Whoa! Something having to do with Nintendo. Gotta get this wrap off the side. I need a, I need my other hand for that. So hold on. It's the ultimate guide to the NES library, 1985 to 1995, from Pat Contry, who you may know as the Pat the NES Punk on uh, YouTube and whatnot. And this is uh, Pat actually contacted me and asked me if I take a look at this book. I've heard from a couple other people that it was really good and uh, and enormous. This is more than enormous. This is this is gigantic. Look at this. And it's heavy. It's heavier than it looks. Wow. This reminds me of some of the textbooks that I didn't open in college. Presumably it's way more fun to read, of course. This looks nice. Tough to shoot with the glossy cover here and my crappy ceiling lights at the moment, but I'll do a better job when I film the whole review, the full review. I'll review Pat's book. I can tell you right now, it needs more pictures. Oh, no, it actually has plenty of pictures. Okay, never mind. Jesus, Pat. How many years did it take you to make this thing? I hope you had an editor. As one who publishes books, and I do comic books, and my own editing, I, I can tell you it's a pain in the ass. It takes a lot, a lot of work. Wow. Yeah, but you know what this book doesn't have, Pat? Truxton. I'm just throwing it out there. Anyway, that's what this box contains. One giant book, which I will... I like the side of it. That's nice. Which I will give a full review. And I have to actually read this thing. How many pages is it? 430 something? Oh, Jesus. Wow. I like the inside. This is really nice. I think you had Print Ninja print this, and I've worked with them before. They do, they do good work. Now you're playing with power. Now, apparently now I'm reading power. Here's the table of contents, which spans several pages. Here's a bit about Pat. I was in one of his films a couple of years ago, in the video game years. And uh, so we start here with uh, a bunch of games for the NES. When I do the full review, Pat also sent me some digital codes. I'm going to give them away in the review here on, uh, here on YouTube. So uh, watch that review and... Hey, I have this game. Oh, Pat gave him little star ratings, too. Well, you're not selling that one. <laughs> what does Super Mario Brothers get? How many stars do you give Super Mario Brothers? So Pat tells you what genre it is, release date. I guess we get Pat's opinion here. Is this game any good or not? I mean, it's not Truxton, so... I suppose that we save a six-star rating for Truxton on the Genesis. Got a lot of detail about Super Mario Brothers. We got Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3. Wow, he, he really likes Super Mario. Super Spy Hunter, that's a good game. Ah, and look, I'm right. Well, at least I agree with Pat. Let's flip through some of these other ones here. I don't have a lot of these games. I thought I had quite a few NES, NES games until I saw this book. <laughs> now I realize I don't actually have that many. And uh, here we have a picture that I definitely agree with. Cheerleaders in front of arcade games. Including Ms. Pac-Man and Defender. So, if for no other reason, you should buy the book for cheerleaders. There you have the unboxing, the ultimate Nintendo guide to the NES library. From Pat Country. And I was going to complain about the lack of Blaster Master. Until I saw that it's on the back. So, 
We do have some Blaster Master there, right next to uh, Reese from Aliens. I'm sorry, <laughs> Reese from Ali Hicks from Aliens, Reese from Terminator. Uh, Top Gun, another one of my favorites right there. Got Final Fantasy, Arkanoid. In fact, I'm working on a review of that right now uh, for the NES. So, there you go. Stay tuned for the full review. Like I said, I've got some codes to give away. And uh, apparently I've got some reading to do. What rating, what star rating does Pat give to Goonies 2? To be honest, even though I'm a big 80s fan, I don't like Goonies all that much. Sorry. Not nearly enough machine guns in that movie for me. Goonies 2 gets three stars. All right. Well, I guess we'll find... Ooh, no, Go Go 13. That gets four stars. That game is awesome right there. Top Secret episode. Working on a review of that as well. Coming up here in the uh, near future. And Gotcha. Remember Gotcha? Ooh, here we have Gun Knack. That's a sweet game. I reviewed this for the Famicom. All right, I got to stop reading this or I'll be here all day. Let's save that for the review. Thanks, Pat. And uh, you'll see more of this here on the show. Your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum, Magnum Skywolf. Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you.